Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another week of daily races here in Gran Turismo 7. We're here at Daytona International Speedway for this one. It's going to be a cracking race. Uh, it's going to be in the GT3 class, I believe, or GR3, I think. Um, as you can see, uh, the results are already on the right. It's a bit of an interesting race. We'll kind of dive into it at some point here once we get the clock rolling. But, man, a lot of action in this one. Um, but, uh, yeah, without further ado, we'll just go ahead and get into it. You can see starting on pole position. Um, I think the times are pretty respectable here in terms of my time trial lap. Uh, put me about 60th at peak ranking. I think it was like top 40 on day one with Monday. But... Uh, Currently, I think it's 80-something worldwide, which is not bad. Um, as you can see, field strength, a lot of A-plus drivers in here. A few A-rated ones as well. Now, that is an awesome scheme, by the way. Dale Jr. Looks like from 2002. You can tell because of the Winston Cup logo there. That's pretty cool. We've got four GT, four Vets. You can see already action here into turn one on Tinsley here by MPI Racing. Trying to look around the outside, thought better of it. And then right back in line. First lap here, it can always bring carnage, especially in these first few sequence of corners. You definitely can outbreak yourself and uh, end up smacking someone, which uh, would ruin your race, obviously. Ruin their race, no bid. So sensible driving here from everyone so far. That is also a pretty cool scheme, the Valentino Rossi. Monster Energy 46. Dang. That looks pretty cool. And the Genesis, too. It's pretty nice. Some some really cool schemes here, actually, from some of these people. We've got a Fanta scheme. Damn, that's... I don't think I've seen that one before, but, man, kudos to this person. Arsenic Hutting. Very interesting one there. Sunny B. I've seen this one in NASCAR, and, yeah, sure enough, it is from Stenhouse's... Uh, scheme there, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Wow, got Gideon here making up the tail end of the of the group. You can see already some battling going on, heading into the bus stop for the first time. Gadget guy, C. Oh, a little gnarly. You can tell he's just all over the place, trying to make it work, but keeps keeps it alive. Lives to see another day, another corner, actually. He keeps it going in the right direction. We're gonna go all the way back here up front. Look at this. Look at this gaggle of cars. I'm right there, by the way, in first, if you guys didn't, didn't know already. But we're not looking at that. We're looking at the action here as the first time at full speed into turn one. A little cautious approach approach here from uh, Stereo. But uh, as you can see, he's gone a little wide too, and that's gonna compromise his exit. Too bad Red Stang is a little bit too far back. Man, this scheme's awesome. He's gone way too deep, and I think he's going to lose another place, maybe? Yeah, and Tinsley takes that place in uh, sixth. Got MPI racing over here in the black Corvette. Nice livery, nice and simple. Look down the inside. Oh, that is bold. Oh, he made contact. He pushes him right off the road. Almost clean off the road. Stang's not going to like that, surely. What's he going to... Oh, blocks him too a bit. Oh, and rightfully so. <laughs> Good night. See you later. Have a nice night. He's dropped four positions off there. That's sometimes the, the nature of the beast. You just, you know, you can't be that aggressive pushing people. They're going to retaliate and push you back. He just lost four spots just like that. Boom. And he's about to lose a fifth one here to Mr. Sunny D-Man over here. Agent 009. Man, this guy's carrying all the colors. And he misses the complete entrance on that one. Cooks it. Keeps it going, though. And he's catching 10th place man, Gadget Guy C. Hmm. Got a penalty already for for, uh, for Red Stang. I think he must have missed the, the bus stop there. He might have cut it a bit because it's only half a second. Man, that's costly, though. That is costly. And, he, and rightfully so, takes the pits immediately, just to minimize the time lost. Let's see what he does here. 
Yeah, usually you don't want to change tires or you don't need to fuel up either because the 10 lap sprint, plenty of fuel left in the car and tire life is pretty good. You don't need to change much here. While he's doing that, let's take a look back up, back up here in the mid pack. Got some feisty action here. Probably gonna butcher that name, but Deoxys. Got a cool scheme here. That's really cool, actually. I'm super. Hunting down this Forza man. It's a good, nice little gaggle of cars here for six. Six, seven, eight. And look, meanwhile, while we're having that, second, third, fourth, and fifth are all grouped together. And you got a great view of it here from Mysterio Racer. The other Super, the default scheme, still looks nice and clean though, not gonna lie. Look at this, they're now trying to draft. There's six men, Tinsley's just quite a bit further back, a couple seconds behind. But here we go, here we go. Heavy braking into the bus stop, oh, dust kicking up and everything. It's a good clean exit though, a little bit sliding coming out of there, but not too, not too shabby. It's gonna come down now. Just staying in the draft here is just so critical because it will gain you a lot of time. And with the distance he has on Tinsley, it's probably the wisest thing to do is just keep in line for the time being. You can see a bit of smoke. That's probably from the bump contact here. There's WRX man. Also got the Valentino Rossi ski. Oh, just clips the wall. You can hear it too. Ford GT man, Prince Plaka. I, uh, I've received a lot of calls recently from uh, a lot of princes a lot of scam calls, as you can imagine. But I'm assuming this guy is not one of them. And uh, he's doing his own, holding there in second position. He's holding on for dear life. He's got a, he's got three cars behind him. And, and here comes Motion Blur, another good racer. He's really charging down the inside. I think he's gonna go for it. No, chooses better, better of it. Tries to get a good exit. The Corvette just so hard, as you can see, it's sliding. Those rear wheels just kicking it up. Here it goes. So easy to lose the back end here, especially on this bump right there. Right there. Gets away with it and he gets a nice slipstream. At this point, if I were him, I'm gonna go for the pass because Prince Plaka, man, is he's driving a little bit away now at this point. Sure enough, I think he's gonna go for it. Maybe? No? He's drafting. He's gonna stay in the draft again. Boom. Yeah, he's lost a lot of speed there. And yeah, you can tell right away. He's under fire now by Mysterio Racer. Well, this battle's going on. What has happened back here? Oh, oh. Missing, looks like we're missing all the action back here. Sunny D-Man on the outside. He's driving like Stan House too. Oh, he clips him. Clips him to the apex. That, oh, that is unfortunate. He's going to get a penalty for that as well. That is absolutely, that's uh, a no-no in my books. So I don't think he did anything wrong there, but he's going to get a half a second time penalty. So surely he's probably going to, oh, oh, okay. Okay, he just made it known that Sunny D man is going straight into the wall. Massive damage there. That's a little uncalled for, I think. That was just racing back there. I, I don't know about that. Man, he got some severe damage here. Looks like we tuned into this right in the nick of time, but that is not cool. That is not cool. Four and a half seconds. I mean, his race is done now at this point, but I'd rather just take the half second dive into the pits. I don't know what this guy was doing. Yeah. Uh, at this level of racing, you gotta be smarter than that. I don't think that was a cool move at all. Never cool to dump someone intentionally like that. Meanwhile, it's, it's kinda okay. Got a little bit of, oh, catching it, good save. Good save. And then this is the man, if you all remember, that got dumped by the Dale Jr. man straight ahead, Red Stang, and now they're back in, in the same vicinity of each other. Funny how that works, eh? Got arsenic pudding still tailing it here at the, the end. A lot of cool, interesting names here. Man, that is unfortunate. Okay, his damage is fixed now. 
but I think this race is clearly done. Look at how big of a gap that is. My goodness, from 8th to 7th. You take a look behind. He's not even rounding. Now he's rounding turn 4. That's at least 5 seconds. Oh, look at this. Look at this. 4th. Take it a look. Seconds gone wide. Motion blur. No. He's worked so hard and he's thrown it away in that moment. Oh my goodness. Takes to the grass. Absolutely insane. WRX with the cover on that one. Oh, he gets smacked from the rear too. As if it wasn't bad enough that he went wide in turn one. Keeps it together. It's so easy now in this type of position as where you lose spots due to your own mistake to be frustrated after you're getting beat up. Surprisingly staying calm. Oh, he gets hit again. Stereo wants to take it to him. And meanwhile, who do we find back in second? Mr. Plaka. Doing all the right things here. Keeping it in position. You can see that's a nice livery too. Ford GT man pulling away. Meanwhile, Super Corvette, Super Sandwich, that's what this is. Can't be healthy for the eyes, surely. Motion Blur. Trying to redeem himself here. Plenty of time to, to get on podium. Plenty of time. So much time that I, I don't even know what to do with that time, but here I am making this video real for you. Oh, he's gone wide. That's surely a pen from Plaka, man. That's got to be, that's got to be a pen. Is that a pen? Yes, it is. Half a second. So he's, he's hurt himself. And WRX capitalizes along with motion blur. Even Masira can sense this one. Oh, look at this. Three wide. Three wide. And there he goes. Bye-bye, Plaka, man. Oh. Mysterio comes into the pits. Interesting move. Okay. Okay, we stay with this battle because this one is uh, is heating up, I feel. This man's hunting him. Oh, that was a good exit. Good exit. And a twitch by WRX. What a nice move that is. By Motion Blur. Will he come back on the inside? Nope. Nope. Shoots, shoots better of it. Meanwhile, look at this. Tinsley is now caught up to this lead path. Uh, we're not really going to me because uh, for me it's it's a straightforward race. Really, it's just more about tire management. There I am there in the corner, as you can see, exiting uh, that turn right there. Okay, here comes Prince Plaka. He's got something to prove. He's got something to prove. You can tell when he missed that bus stop, he was mad. He's mad at himself, rightfully so. Oh, good race in there. Good amount of space given. A little twitch on the exit as over that bump. Two four GTs against the Supra and the Corvettes now pulling away too. Motion Blur is like, I'm not having none of this. The, the two four GTs working together here, fourth and fifth. Are they gonna go go with each other? No, no. Plaka thinking about it. Thought better of it. Wow, it was coasting a long time there. Uh, it was Tinsley. Oh, sideways again on that. That's a very tricky. It looks simple. It's not simple. That braking zone is is uh is corrupt i tell you nice and steady race i can't believe we're on lap seven already look at this this say 1044 305 i was using a, a brake bias two to the rear we've got someone pin tinsley pin okay here we go here we go down down the inside thinks of it again motion blur giving him the space this is good hard racing right now. Good hard racing. This is absolutely fantastic to walk. Clock man. Still working hard. He's got no one behind him really. Forza's the next man behind because you know Tinsley pitted. Where does Tinsley come out? He comes out in seventh and he's got no pressure behind. That's perfect. He's got some little bit of clean air to work with, a little bit of draft as well, if he can kind of close that gap down. Gideon. If you remember all, this guy started last. I don't know if... I could be wrong. I don't know if he... He did pit, I think. Oh, no, no, he didn't pit. Nope. Maybe? It says P server. Yeah, so I think he did pit. Oh, he pitted twice? Yeah, I think he pitted twice. Oh, Tinsley's gone a little wide. Yeah, meanwhile, the bat battle in front. Look at, look at this. This nicely coaxing the car into the bus stop, whereas motion blur, let's see what he does. Nice and smooth. 
nice and smooth into the bus stop. Look at this. Oh, that could... I think he just got away with it. He just got away with it. Yeah, he just got away with it. But that exit was not great. I think WRX, man, it's time for him to go. It's time for him to go. It's lap eight. He's going to go for it around the outside. What a nice move that was. Nice and simple. No DRS needed, of course. He's, he's got clean air now in front of him. Can he pull away? Oh, that's a sharp, sharp entrance into turn one. That is, oh, that is horrendous. Let's well, set him up for failure and block man's right there to bounce. I don't know why he went that defensive. He didn't need to. But, oh, he's outbraked himself again. And here comes Plaka Man. Motion Blur giving him the space. What a nice, oh, he almost sacrificed himself in the process. On lap nine already. Look at the tire life. Look at the tire life. Plaka Man doing a lot better on his tires than Motion Blur. And WRX, is this gonna, is this gonna come back to bite him in the butt? We're about to find out. They, they're gonna have to pit this time by. Cause, mind you, I haven't pitted either, so I'm gonna pit at the end of this lap, probably. Actually, I will, I know that. But here we go. Three American drivers. What are they gonna be doing? He is far, far back at this point. Plaka man, he's gonna have to take a look. That's what it's gonna take, side by side, for him to catch up. He's trying to let him in. And I think he got the memo because he's he knows he's gonna lose a lot of time if they're side by side into this bus stop. Oh what a move! He just launched it in there. Absolutely launched it. Full send and he's he's made up the time. It's gonna be interesting now when these three pit. Look at where Tinsley is. He's he's gonna be right in this battle, I feel, when they go into the pit. There I go into the pits. 55% fuel left. Here we go. Here we go. What's it gonna be? Let's ride on board with Tinsley because I feel like he's gonna be close. It's not gonna be too close though. He's just rounding turn four now. And... Whoa, what's this gonna be? Wow, that is really, it just sounds so slow. I know it's not, but it, it just sounds slow. Okay, where's it gonna come out? Here they come, Plaka Man. Tinsley gets into second. Okay. Where, where are they coming out? Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, it's not that close, actually. I thought it was gonna be a bit closer than that, but look at this squabble of cards now. This is it, last lap. Who's it gonna be? What's it gonna be at this point? That's more like it. As you can see there, this is a great shot. Look at that, on the grass. And I think he's gonna go a little wide because of it. Oh, just... I don't know if he touched him. I just think Motion Blur is absolutely holding on for dear life. Last real heavy braking zone apart from the, the bus stop. Oh, he's gone wide. Both of them gone wide. Plaka Man back into second. What a move. Both of them went off in sympathy of each other. And now Motion Blur pushing Plaka Man. Well past WRX. It's gone horribly wrong for this man right here. Here comes Motion Blur, down the inside. I think he's gotta make it make it stick. Let's see what he does. Is he gonna outbreak him? Oh, both of them, both of them, keep it easy. Look at that on the grass. He gets away with it. Tinsley's now caught this battle. But I think it's a little too late for this man. And what's it gonna be? He's going to the outside. Is this gonna be a three wide moment? WRX pushing him through. Wow, he betrays Motion Blur. Not that he owed him anything in the first place, but... No, oh, he's gonna pull out, pull out! No, oh, he doesn't! Oh, he tries to go on the inside! Photo finish! Flocka man holds on! What a move that was, and what a race for second, third, fourth, fifth even! You can throw them in sixth even! Wow! That is crazy! What happened to this man? Yeah, he's, he's down there in tenth. Where's the Sunny D guy? Oh no, dead last. I wonder what happened to him. He is well off the pace. I don't know what happened to him. Man, that was an epic race from second to sixth, split by probably less than a second. Really? That was insane.
Yeah, that was one of the daily races. I'll, I'll definitely try to have more daily races this week. Same track. Maybe I'll see some more photo finishes, but that was absolutely an intense race. And uh, yeah, that's that's it for 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 now. If you guys like the the race, feel free to subscribe, hit that like button, and uh, we'll post more race racing content soon. Ciao.